What is up guys? Jake and Sarah here for Dude Ranch DIY. Welcome back to the channel. Um, obviously it snowed in the last video. Chris and I talked about it snowing. We didn't quite get as much snow as we had hoped for or they had called for, but we got about, I don't know, probably four or five inches, um, which was enough to give me some overtime and uh, enough to make just enough of a mess. Tomorrow it's supposed to be like 50 degrees and we're supposed to get so like- So it's gonna be all slushy? Yeah, like three inches of rain. All the snow is gonna be gone. But um, a lot of you probably have not seen Sarah yet. We've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately, as you've been seeing. Sarah keeps nice. up on the subscriber count. I do. And uh, we are out here today. You saw I cut up some really nice ash, albeit not boneless, skinless. It's gonna be make some really nice firewood. Straight grain stuff, it's gonna go through the seven way pizza box wedge really well. Um, and I think today, since we don't have much time, the sun's going down and it's pretty cold out, um, we are going to see how fast Sarah and I can fill up one large 330 gallon IBC tote. Um, Chris and I have done it pretty fast in the past. We have all this stuff cut up. We have a bunch of wood behind us that's already cut up. The machine has been warmed up. The empty tote is over underneath the conveyor. So uh, I think we will be able you know to do I it. I love a competition. Sarah loves a competition. So anytime I get Sarah out here in the woodyard, we need to it's my add only motivation. some competitive edge to, to make it Usually it's fun. like dinner or... Yeah, well, we're not betting on anything Well, this usually time. we do. Well, we could, we could no, bet. No, I'll bet Chris. What did you and Chris get? What did Chris and I, well, we've done it a lot of different times. I don't know, I think Chris and I, a, a good like average, I think we do around 12 to 15 minutes to fill one right. up. We've done it really fast. We, these are pretty good sized rounds though. I think, I think we might if be we able to beat 15 in minutes. Under 15, Chris owes me dinner. Chris owes you dinner. Yeah. Well, he's not here to, I will. But, <laughs> <laughs> but if I get over 15, I owe him dinner. You owe him dinner. Yeah. You mean Hear that, I, owe, Chris? I owe Chris dinner. <laughs> no, no, with my own money. Oh, your own money. Yep. Okay, well, let's put it at that then. Uh, we will get things fired up and you're gonna be running the controls. Yeah, I'm going to be feeding you the wood and we'll make a bunch of wood really quick. Let's do it. All right, let's go.
last log, I think. Sarah's doing great. The toad is almost completely filled. As I trip there, a couple more passes, and we'll be good to go. All right, guys, there it is. Tell them how long it took, sir. 14 minutes. 14 minutes to fill up one large tote. That tote's almost bigger than you are. Weighs more than me. It definitely weighs <laughs> more than you. I think those logs weigh more than me. Those, those are logs heavy. Probably, yeah, some of those logs are probably pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, what'd you think about the Eastamade? It's great. You like running out, right? Yeah, I do, it's easy. And now that you know that the log lift will load the logs for you if you raise it up enough, yeah. It probably makes it a little bit easier too. Yeah. That's, it's probably my fault for not telling them. you. Yeah, there's a lot of things that you just expect me to know. I'm not Chris. Yeah, we, we just kind of hop into I it. I also and... haven't been out here since like the summer, so. Right, exactly. So Forgot that's how not it fair worked. either. But 14 minutes is pretty Chris darn owes fast. Chris dinner. Yeah, <laughs> Chris owes Chris, you a dinner. Chris, where are you taking me? Fozzie's? <laughs> We didn't even really touch the majority of that log that I cut up. Um, I think we might have only split one or two rounds off of it. Still got a bunch of them over here. But, I mean, this Eastamade 2228 with the attached conveyor, it's a workhorse. It works really well, and it works really fast. <laughs> well what are you, you going to say something? No. Go ahead. Take it away. <laughs> All right, guys. I think that's going to wrap this one up. 14 minutes to fill up this tote here. And as you can see, we stacked up. You know, I kind of was organizing it throughout. So, Chris, you owe my wife dinner. Hear um, that, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We haven't done a timed tote run in a while. But, I mean, this thing is consistently putting out... 15 minute, you know, totes. It, and you could do faster than 15 minutes if you have those big rounds because you have to, you know, or load it less. Or if you're helping me, you're over here doing things when I need more well, wood. Well, I know, I know. We, we really needed three people to do this effectively to have Chris or I feeding you the rounds. I think we could Somebody do it in nine filming. minutes. We could if, definitely do it faster. We could definitely do Chris, it faster. This week, if Chris is here, I bet us three could do it in nine minutes. Okay. Well, I'm going to hold you to that. All right. If Chris comes out after this storm, we're supposed to get a pretty good storm tomorrow. Uh, we'll, we'll get something going. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like seeing Sarah in the videos, drop a comment down below. Give her the encouragement to come out more because I, I enjoy the help, and I think they enjoy the eye candy. If I get 50 comments with my name in it, I'll come out twice a week. 50 comments with your name in yeah. it? Yeah. All right, guys, you heard her. 50 comments down below mentioning seeing Sarah in more videos, and she will come out. I'm not going to hold you to twice a week. I'll, I'll hold you to once a week. Okay, you said it. <laughs> All right, well, it sounds like the big baby Lou up they there wanna eat. Uh, wants to eat. So and I want to go lay by the fire. Yeah, it's, it's I don't know how you guys out. do it. It's like 30 degrees right now, but you and Chris did this in 20 degrees on Saturday. You yeah, guys well, don't wear gloves. My fingers are freezing. You, I'm not you, cut out for once this Once your hands life. get cold enough or, you know, you're just used, we get used to it. We're doing it all like day, your, every day. your hands are just calluses anyway. Yeah, they, so they, they are pretty rough. They don't have any <laughs> feeling. <laughs> yeah, not much feeling in there. But uh, as always, guys, if you like the video, Give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. Drop a comment if you want to see Sarah in more videos. But for now, I'm Jake. I'm Sarah. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you guys here next time.